<laughs> That's the theme of our Better Fitness segment this afternoon. Taylor Bidmead is a personal trainer and the manager of Fitness Together in Rocky Hill to let us know that everyone has awkward moments at the gym. More than that, you're going to tell us what we can do to recover from that. Absolutely. <laughs> I have a strong policy. It's only awkward if you make it. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So we don't always know the etiquette in a gym, so let's start with some of the things that can happen. Number one. You're throwing the kettlebell and it slips out of your hands. Absolutely. So we're not even supposed to throw the kettlebell, but sometimes it just slips out of your hand. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So the best thing that you can do is when you lose your kettlebell, if there's anybody around, let them know. <laughs> the worst thing you can do is then hit somebody with the kettlebell. Um, so if it slips, just say heads up and then go over, pick it back up and try again. Okay. All right. Now what happens if a wall ball hits you in the face? Oh, I think right to the face. Oh. That happens more often than not. <laughs> Um, if a wall ball is hitting you in the face, it's really about the throw. So if it's coming back at you that fast that you don't have enough time to react, you can either back away from the wall or you need to pick a heavier weight. Okay. okay. Yeah. But and you if still it's already happened, happened. Embarrassed. If it's sorry. you just say, <laughs> shake it off. Oops, I'm so sorry. <laughs> or your feet get all twisted up when you're doing footwork. <laughs> yep, I've, I've done this um, all the time. <laughs> Make sure that when you're using your agility ladder that it's flat. Okay. okay, so a lot of times people put it away and it's twisted and it has little bumps in the sides of the rope or if it's um, ropes across the bars, just make sure that when you put it down, it's definitely flat. Okay, good advice. Wheel slides and you go face first. Oh, right. ab wheels. Oh, well, that forget that happens because it. it's too hard to do those. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, so if you're going out and you fail on an ab wheel, you are going too far. So you want to make sure that you can maintain control the entire time while using an ab wheel, even if it's only going out a quarter inch and back, as long as you're maintaining control. Okay, and then this can happen with push-up pads too. You can also go face first in those little valve slides. Oh, oh bye Mike, yep. Um, so same thing, um, if he's doing a pec fly like that and you're using the pads and you go out too far, this can actually happen when you're working out with your legs as well and you end up in a split, which nobody wanted. Um, so just make sure that when you're going out, you can feel the resistance and maintain control the entire time. Okay. okay. Now this one happens to me all the time, when the weight pin is not in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep. I have people do that all the time where if we're doing like a tricep extension, if you're working with a double rope, there's two handles there. So you want to grab both sides, not just one, or the rope will slip. Or you can use a shorter single rope for doing isolated triceps. Okay. okay. So now back to the weights. If you are using weights and you're good enough that you're going to like bench something and then the weights slip off the bar. Yes, absolutely. Those overly competitive people. Doesn't that happen people. to you a lot, Karen? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> why that's uh, happening. That's you why I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you want to make sure that you're holding the bar completely level. So if it starts to slide, it's likely that the weight is too heavy and you're actually hitting a muscle failure in one of your shoulders. Okay, so you got to kind of swallow your pride, drop the weight a little bit and make sure that you can maintain that level plane while you're doing your chest press the whole time. All right, I think Maybe we have time for one more misfire on the step. One. Oh, classic. <laughs> I'm very good at this. Usually it goes much worse than that where I twist and like fall on my butt. Um, but make sure that when you're using a stepper, it's absolutely clipped in, okay? okay. Because the recoil from that is going to actually send All you right. backward. All right. Okay, Bring a advice. sense of humor to the gym. Thank you, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor and the team at Fitness Together in Rocky Hill are ready to help you get in shape. To learn more about them, no judgment there, fitnesstogether.com slash Rocky Hill.